All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the topic, which is that I used to do these 1v3 videos. I did them in elimination. I did them in trials, and I've been doing them for years and years and years, but recently I stopped doing them, and a lot of people have commented and questioned and been asking, you know, why did you stop doing 1v3s? Why don't you bring them back? And the answer is actually really complicated, and so I wanted to make a video addressing the subject because I want to get your opinions in the comment section below on what you think and how you feel about 1v3 trials videos. So the first thing I'll say is that when you watch a 1v3 trials video or 1v3, if they teabag, I release the wolves, which are some of the most viewed videos I've had on this channel. You're watching a video where I actually won that 1v3 or got close to winning because I would often post them even if I lost. But the reality is it actually took a lot of losses to get that win. And they're obviously not as easy as they may seem. But that being said, sometimes you would win a 1v3 and the enemy team would be three very new guardians, sometimes very inexperienced. And so sometimes I would play these 1v3s and I would win and I post them on YouTube and a lot of people would give me feedback just like, oh, you know, it seems kind of like you're just bullying new players or beating up on players that are very easy to win against in trials. And that's where my first initial distaste for 1v3s came from because I was like, well, I don't really want to go into trials and beat up or bully on people but that being said though the equal argument could be made that if i was in a fire team obviously we would beat them even more convincingly like there's no shot if i could beat them in a 1v3 then if i had two more players on my team we would obviously just completely cream them so that argument is definitely valid and it leaves me sort of in like a middle road where i don't really know how i want to do it or if I want to continue to do 1v3s, because I don't want to be the cause of people not being able to get the loot that they're desiring in trials. Like for example, you're trying to get three wins this week, trying to get the Ignis Hammer. I don't want to stop people from getting three wins, but an equal argument can be made that if you were to play me in a full fire team, you would definitely not win any rounds if I were to beat you in a 1v3. So if I do fight you in a 1v3, the likelihood is that you're probably going to win more rounds, essentially beating your three win bounty faster. And simply put, there's just valid points to be made on both sides of the argument. And recently, I've been thinking about potentially bringing back these 1v3s because it's been so long since I did them. They were a fun challenge, and I might just do like one a week. But before I bring them back, I want to know your opinions in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Do you think I should bring back 1v3s? Are you excited to see them come back? Or do you think that I should let 1v3s go and focus on doing other content? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I will be basing my potential return of the 1v3s on the comment section below. So let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Later. Subscribe to Lucky 10 p and smash that motherfucking like button.